Why is there anything? Has this question ever occurred to your mind? I mean, when you perceive all the things around you in daily lives, food, buildings, people on the street, or even you yourself as a conscious being, how did all this come to be? Why are these things the way they're presented and what are some underlying correlations? We are far from adequate to fully answer these questions, but today I'm going to discuss a little bit on what we already have accomplished explore, exploring the world, yet there are huge parts of it remain secret. And at this point of human history, what we can do. So let's go back in time when the first species of human evolved. It's been clear that the um, desire to explore the unknowns is always within, is always within us. For 99.9% .9 of the time since our first uh, since our species first came to be, we were hunters and foragers. We wandered on continents with the only, um, we wandered on continents. The only limitations were from deep oceans and vast skies that once appeared unfathomable to our ancestors. And we, and of course, now we know that out there in the sky is space, and those twinkling objects hanging in the sky are stars. So humans try to use any accessible means to record or explain everything they were experiencing. For example, some carved, spe um, some carved specific patterns of marks do represent natural phenomena like sunrise and sunset, and these were some earliest attempts to understand the world. As the time went on and on. Um, greater and greater achievements have been made. Great voyagers and adventurers have opened up new lands. And more important was the development of science. Science is used to generalize um, how does the world works that is based on testable explanations and objective evidence. It rejects the notion of unfounded imagination. And about 400 years ago, Isaac Newton discovered the universal gravitation and the laws of motion that could be used to explain um, the motion of e the motion of everything in the mac macroscopic world, from smallest objects like the apple that fell on Newton's head to large celestial bodies in the space. But since the 20th century, due to the development of uh, development of modern physics, the limitations of classic mechanics have been exposed in the microscopic world and when objects get close to the speed of light. In another world, the, new, new, the Newton's three laws does not apply to everything. Later, Albert Einstein established the theory of relativity that set up a complete coherent system for modern physics, and he also describes the, gra the gravitational field um, as the curvature of a combination of space and time. This has greatly changed people's common sense of the universe and nature. I don't want to get deep into the science here behind all these theories. What I want to stress here is that um, uh, what I want to stress here is that throughout human history, our species have tried hard to understand the world we're living in. This innate motivation has enabled us to become dominators on, dominators on this planet. There are now people on every continent and the remotest islands, from pole to pole, from Mount Everest to the Dead Sea. We have explored it, explo exploited resources for our own needs. We now have um, maybe advanced technologies that can improve our lives. Yes, we are living in a somewhat wonderful, pleasing world. Stepping into the 21st century, however, although new, technolo new technologies are emerging, there is no um, big substantial progress on basic science within a century. The, the enthusiasm for exploration seems to be waning due to the rapid changes of our current world. The COVID-19 has posed an indelible impact all over the world. And there are also issues of discrimination, refugees, famine, and also there are disputes between countries going on. And for us high school students, we are busy getting better scores and improving ourselves um, to apply for better universities in the future. Most of the people lack the awareness or opportunity to investigate the pure essence of the world around us, to think about the fundamental, fundamental questions that our ancestors once asked when they first cast their eyes to the, to the sky. Where, um, who am I? Where am I from? Where am I going? It seems to me that human, ex human existence itself um, in, in the universe is a huge luck. There are still so many things undiscovered out there in space, like the dark matter and what's inside of a black hole look like and how was the universe created from an explosion or is it just there the whole time or is there a multiverse we have no idea still all these questions and just it takes you on a journey sometimes when you just think about it maybe it's the um future generation's job to unveil the mystery or maybe our species will be gone by then i just hope that this short video could 
could encourage at least some of you to realize the important importance of exploration and try to spend some time to understand this world.